North Suburban Evanston has settled a lawsuit filed by a black former Northwestern University Ph.D. student who said he was the victim of police brutality. Tonight he's breaking his silence on the case and talking with CBS 2's Jeremy Ross one-on-one. -on -one. All right. October 10th, 2015, a then-NU engineering grad student suspected of stealing a car pulls over, gets out with his hands up, and is taken to the ground by law enforcement. On the ground! On the ground! The Evanston officers are accused of striking then 25-year-old Lawrence Crosby 11 times before police learned the car in question was his. It's not easy for me to be put back into that situation and have to relive it again um, because I, I, I had a... At that moment in time, I did not know whether I would make it through the, to the end of the night, facing however many weapons pointed at me, at least uh, six guns pointed at me. For the first time since, the now 28-year-old Dr. Crosby spoke publicly about what happened and the lasting effects following a 911 call that someone mistakenly thought he was breaking into a car. I've had to deal with, with um, post-traumatic stress and, um, you know, just, you know, having fear of, of police, honestly. His attorney said following the incident, the Evanston Police Department put out a now deleted video defending the officer conduct. Description of the vehicle. Prosecutors accused saw. Crosby of charges including resisting. He would later be found not guilty and bring a civil case against the city and officers. The settlement was for 1250000 and I consider that a fair and just, um, you know, compensation for the experience that I went through. That's a settlement. Is it justice? No, it's not justice. In a one-on-one -on -one interview, Crosby said no officers were disciplined following the stop. He adds he never received an apology from the city or police. You know, I think we're way past that. Um, we're not looking for apologies. We're looking for change. My goal is to try to use the voice that I have to bring awareness to this issue. The engineer is hoping to engineer conversation about implicit bias. That's the unconscious use of stereotypes in our daily routines. He's hoping to talk with law enforcement, academics, and others about how that impacts our lives, including how it could have ended his. I once said something about, it's lucky I didn't get shot. Could you have died that night? I believe so, definitely. I definitely believe that, is, that could have happened. Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News.